Hey church, uh, it's Wednesday. It's time again for our five-minute follow-up. I didn't receive any questions about the sermon from this past Sunday, so I just wanted to spend just a minute of your time this morning and uh, just give you some encouragement. Uh, this has been a trying time for very many of us, and lots of things are changing. Things are changing quickly even as we speak. Uh, we've got some really cool things in the works as, that I'm planning for this Sunday and communion. And I really hope you'll dig into that. I'll send you out an email this afternoon uh, about what that's about. And so be looking for that in your inboxes. But I wanted to give you some encouragement uh, about what's happening in our church groups, in these small home kind of micro gatherings. Uh, I've been hearing from a lot of you, and it's been an awesome time of connecting together relationally, hearing from God's Word, worshiping together, and, and also digging into God's Word together. Some of us are even they're having meals together. Uh, God has been doing some really neat things through this, and our ability to do this may not be for very much longer. So we should take advantage of it while we can, uh, while still using, of course, proper guidelines of cleanliness and distancing from each other, and also making sure that we're not participating if we know that we have symptoms or if we have possibly been exposed. So thank you for adhering well to that. The encouragement I want to give to you today actually comes from John chapter 16. It's a familiar passage, and uh, many of you have heard it many times before. It came to mind as I was doing some uh, reading of my own and uh, I, I just wanted to read it because it actually fits really neat in, in this time. Jesus is talking uh, to his disciples and he's been talking to them about all these different things that are going to happen. And he's trying to give them some encouragement for the time that they're going to face because it's not going to be easy in the world and he knows it. And so he, he looks at them and he says, Do you believe me now? Beginning in verse 31 there of chapter 16. Behold, the hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Friends, it's, it's a difficult time. There are no doubt troubles all around us. Uh, and it's not going to get a lot better real soon because even when the restrictions ease from all of this and the disease seems to have abated, there's going to be other issues happening. Uh, businesses that have closed may not reopen. Uh, people will have lost jobs. Maybe even their place of uh, uh, where they live. Uh, we don't know what's all going to happen. But... We know that in Jesus, we have hope. He has overcome the world. We don't have to fear. We can be a witness of hope and direction and encouragement, even in this difficult time, to ourselves, first and foremost, and then to those around us as well. I hope that as you're uh, going about this week and as you're digging in with time, extra time with family most likely, or if you're still working, that the Lord impresses upon you that He has overcome all of the troubles that you're facing, even in this moment, and that one day it will all be made right. Until next time, be a witness.